why I'm here is because the issue that I study and engage with, food, food for the rich world, but also food for the planet, is that unless we address the issue of climate change, we're going to see completely distorted and further disrupted food systems. There are already signs of that. But what it means is a quite overt grappling with what do we mean by a good diet? What is a good diet? For a long time, public health people have been saying, eat this, eat that, lower this, raise that, and now because of obesity and overweight, take more exercise. But all of that thinking now needs to be put through the lens of climate change. Climate change is completely altering how food supply chains work. Food is embedded carbon. Oil is used to get the food to us. Oil is in the food in the form of fertilizer. Oil is what irrigates the water that enables most of the cereals and horticultural crops to be grown. Unless we rethink the food system, uh, climate change is basically going to ride over us, but from things that we've done through food. Food is one of the biggest factors in climate change. Even agriculture on its own is 14 to 18 percent of all greenhouse gases. The European Union study uh, five years ago showed even then that food accounted for 30 percent of all the greenhouse gas emissions of European consumers in the biggest market in the world. If we don't sort out climate change through things like food, we're done for, frankly. We're eating as though there are three planets, in the United States as though there are five planets. You can't do that, actually, and you certainly can't have nine billion people by 2050 eating like the British does. British do. In that sense, climate change is illustrated by food, but climate change is being driven by food. Climate change and food means sorting out all the constituencies of public health. It means public health has got to stop faffing about as a movement and become a movement. Like in the 19th century, it argued to change culture, how people behaved, stopping spitting, changing house design, water sewerage, all sorts of things were changed by public health. In the same way in the 21st century, public health is going to have to be both a movement which drives that change to a more sustainable society and also acts as a voice for what that society could look like.